everyone welcome back to my channel i'm anatolia and i'm stress dress today i will be talking to you guys about the hottest fashion trends of summer 2021 summer is approaching i know it's still spring surprisingly it's not june 21st yet but once june 21st hits, it's officially summer so keep an eye out for all these styles especially if you have them in your closet and you want to sell them these would sell so fast because everyone's looking for them because they're hot trends so let's get right into it i looked up on cosmopolitan the hottest trends of 2021 but some of them are kind of outdated i'm not sure if that's what they meant to do if they are outdated or if they just can't find anything new but then i went on sheen and i went on a couple other brands that i personally like to shop in to look at all the different styles that are trending and maybe i can like piece together what other items are in right now so first of all we have crop tops i'm gonna try my best to include all the pictures here for you guys to have a reference and to see what other brands are selling these items so you see all the extremely luxurious brands selling crop tops which is kind of crazy to me because they usually cater to higher end people that like they're a bit older which is fine maybe everyone likes crop tops this summer they kind of look like bathing suit tops which is okay for some people just not for me i personally do not dress like this i personally don't enjoy showing my stomach as much so if you're into this kind of stuff crop tops are so in right now whether it be a sweater crop top or a regular crop top or just a bandeau or just i don't know just regular crop tops or even polo crop tops are so in right now. So make sure you keep an eye out for those, whether you want to sell them or keep them for yourselves or even buy some from these extremely expensive brands. <laughs> Next up, I don't know if you guys are able to guess from the get-go if you look at all these styles and brands, puff sleeves. Whether it be on a shirt or on a dress, it is extremely popular this summer. It's been popular for a couple summers now, which is great. It's great. I'm so happy for them. I love puff sleeves. I wear them all the time. I genuinely enjoy the look of puff sleeves on me. I feel like it gives it a vintage vibe, which is kind of my style. I really think they don't go out of style. I think puff sleeves are so cool and elegant and classy and it gives your outfit a different look and it gives it a very fresh take. It is very popular though, so I'm really not into trends. I don't enjoy fashion trends. So maybe it's better for me to look at fashion trends just to do the exact opposite, but puff sleeves are one of the things that I genuinely enjoy. So I I will not stop doing it and I will not stop wearing puff sleeves just because they're popular but yeah if you also notice there's a lot of crunching on the puff sleeves you can see Isabel Marat has the the crunchiness there's three different pictures of her style on there you can see the extreme so the huge puff at Jacom I know I'm saying it wrong but the black shirt up here so it, it's that huge puff sleeve action going on that I'm really liking so yeah, that's another trend, a very hot trend. With all different fabrics, by the way, if you notice, there's leather, there's cotton, there's the linen kind, there's the, the flax. So there's all different kinds of fabrics that really look good when it's puff. Next up, I don't know if you can already tell. I'll give you a second to guess what you think the trend is here. Okay, are you done guessing? I feel like Dora right now. Okay, so the trend here is cutouts. You can see every single picture, there's a little cute cutout in the back or in the front or on the side. And it's kind of cool. I'm into that. I really like that. I think it's different. I think it's never been done before. I don't remember anywhere in the 60s or 70s people wearing cutouts. Maybe in the 90s, but not as popular. So maybe this will be a trend that future generations will look back on and consider it vintage from our generation. So that's really cool. I personally would not wear cutouts as much because I'm just more into the conservative type dresses and shirts and whatever. But if you're into that kind of thing, they're so popular. If you find that at the thrift store, make sure you buy it so you can wear it and then sell it. But definitely keep an eye out for cutouts. It's so popular in Revolve brands currently. If you can see Made Jarrell if I'm saying it right, or Mahe, M-A-J-E. They're so popular on Revolve. So make sure you go on Revolve and look at the cutout dresses. Zimmerman has always had cutouts in their dresses and it's kind of cool. I kind of like seeing the same brand doing the same thing, just keeping up with the trends. And it's really cool seeing how they incorporate their own style into the new trends and how they just fit into it. So cutouts are so popular. Okay, next up, give you a second. Sheer! Sheer is so in right now. It's kind of crazy to me. I don't know why it's so in. Whether it be a cover-up for a bathing suit or a dress or a shirt or even pants. It's so in. I don't know why. I'm not a huge popular... Wow. I'm not a huge fan of popular... Pfft. Wow. I'm not a huge fan of sheer. I like it if it's in the sleeve. So if it's a shirt and then the sleeve is sheer or a puffed sheer organza style shirt sleeve thing. But I don't know. I don't know. Like Kenzo kind of makes it look horrible. <laughs> 
Dior is always graceful. Like their shirts, their pants, just everything about Dior is really great. Fendi does not look good, I'm sorry. I, I'm just not a huge fan of that sheer style. Especially when there's a print on it, it makes it look tacky, it makes it look busy. Busier than what sheer is. I think sheer is very beautiful and it should not be worn like that. It could be a cover up. But to me, not a fan, not even a Balmain, even though I'm a huge fan of Balmain. I know I'm saying it wrong. Get over it. Next up, this is very easy. It's all about the sequins and the shimmer and the bling bling. I love this style. I personally enjoy the silver on with the bling. Gold, not as much, but silver, absolutely beautiful. It is so in, so if you have weddings or engagements, if you have any events at night, this material or fabric or color or whatever you want to call it, perfect. The metallic -y, really cool, really edgy. It gives it this awesome 3D structure to it. I love every single outfit. Like maybe Isabel Marat went a little bit overboard with the textures because I like it more simple, but absolutely beautiful. Paco Robin did an amazing job. Balmain, absolutely beautiful. Louis Vuitton, obviously, just all over i'm digging this look and i would definitely try to look for stuff like this in the thrift stores for me to wear this summer next up this is a really weird trend i feel like it's kind of 80s or 90s because a lot of people would wear chains on their bellies like near their belly button i'm not sure if it's like a cultural thing that people have adapted but you see these strings on the on the belly or like like torso area i don't know i'm just not a huge fan of that i don't i don't know it looks really cool on these models, but I don't think it would look good on me, especially because I have a smaller torso. So if you're into a lot of accessories, a lot of cool ropes, <laughs> definitely look at these trends. Definitely try to buy some of these because this is so in right now, whether it be shirts or dresses, but definitely. And it definitely ties into the crop top era of fashion because a lot of crop tops go with a lot of accessories because it's a very small piece of clothing. So you have to compensate for it, whether it be through the ropes or the cool they called it wrap around straps so any of these wrap around straps really cool fun i don't know i'm i'm just i i don't i feel like it's not me to wear a cutout like the straps so the crisscross straps uh jennifer lopez has actually been a huge fan of those and when people wear them on loose trousers it looks really cool it looks kind of it's moody it's like a mood so if you enjoy that go for it try it out and let me know how it feels i feel like those straps will just like like go in my folds when i sit down so <laughs> not for me but if it's for you it's for you you do you guys if you like it you like it okay the next one is more color so pastels it's been very popular these past few summers which is great i love pastels i think they look great on everyone everyone has their own color but pastels in general look amazing they're very simple they're very chic they're very elegant they're very i i don't know what the word is in english they're very not vibrant they're very happy if you get my drift they're just very happy colors and i, I like that i think people should dress as they feel. And if I'm happy, I'm gonna wear happy colors, which are all these pastels, the pink, purple, green, blue, absolutely beautiful, love it, go for it. Don't stop wearing pastels even when they go out of trend. And you can see here, like every single one of those dresses, items, whatever you wanna call them, gorgeous. I would wear those under, over, whatever clothes, but the Hugo Boss ones, like absolutely, I would wear that in a heartbeat. Isabel Marat, of course, beautiful, Fendi, drop that gorgeous and you can see that they pair it with very vibrant colors because they're happy colors it's beautiful the, the purple the orange and the pink like yes i love that i would wear that it's mind-blowing so if you find pastel items make sure you buy them whether you want to wear them or sell them absolutely next up cosmopolitan mentioned a couple other things that i'm not interested in sharing they're like wide leg trousers which have been in for ages so i'm not going to be talking about those because they're not really trends but i went on some other websites and i found some other things that i have been personally seeing with my friends or with a lot of people and here they are i have been finding a lot of the knit items very in so a lot of the knit items i'm going to post a picture here this brand is called stod s-t-a-u-d.com absolutely one of my favorite brands i love this brand so much and i go to them for inspiration because they're very expensive so i can't really buy everything they have they really inspire me for my style and their pieces are really cool so i'm going to include a picture here this top is knit and it has all different colors all different weird stitches which is really awesome i really like that i mostly see it in cult gaia i don't know if you know what that brand is or if i'm saying it wrong but cult gaia has this 
vibe to it it's always been that is their brand that is their style that is their fashion statement so if you go on their brand c-u-l-t-g-a-i-a -A, they make really cool shoes make really cool bags that everyone copies but i feel like they are the main source of that style they've been having that brand they've been having that style and i guess it just started swifting into fast fashion and a lot of people have been wearing it more they really knitted the really cool pattern that looks like smoke it's really cool i really like it i would definitely wear one of those items if i stumble upon it but i would not go out of my way to buy a 300 dollars dress just because it's in but definitely look out for this knitted kind of style dresses or pants or shirts or whatever you find it in it's really cool another item that i have been seeing a lot outside in the world kind of like nylon bag style it looks like this i'm gonna post a picture here whether it be in pastels or in very vibrant colors it looks great with fashion statements it looks great with different accessories and shoes it's just I genuinely really like this style. I feel like it's kind of vintage. There's also another bag. I'm going to post a picture here of it. It's this 90s boxy look. I actually have a bag I can show it to you guys. This is on a bigger scale, but this bag, like the boxy, like weird look. I don't know if you can see it. But this style is really cool and it's so in right now. Stodd has been having it too. It's kind of like the old Liz Claiborne. So if you find any of those bags, you're good. It's like $5 at the thrift store. So just buy it and you're trendy. You're trendy now. So yeah, this bag with a very short strap. Perfect. It's so in. Everyone loves it. Everyone wears it. Yay. Okay. Another trend I've been seeing is vibrant, extremely heavy colors clashed into each other. I personally am very scared to clash my colors like that, but it's very in. And if you can do it, go for it. If you can style it right, if you can sell it even go for it. It's really cool seeing how people style it and how people match the silver with it or the gold with it and how they match their shoes. So it's really cool. They wear it's you, then it's you. Another thing I've been seeing a lot is the Zimmerman style dresses. I found it on Sheen, so I'm going to post a picture here. But this dress is very puffed. It's very elegant. It's very put together. And that's what Zimmerman's all about. It's about this elegant, timeless style, which is probably my favorite kind of style. I think it's very modern, yet very old. So it keeps a very timeless view. And I think that is the best kind of style. Simple yet very complex with very crocheted pieces. So if you're into that, look out for it because you're going to be so in and everyone's going to ask you where you get your outfits from. Okay. <laughs> Another thing that was in last summer that I don't think is in anymore is the peasant style dresses and the very cottage style shirts. So if you find any of those, you can still wear them if that's your style. But I personally have not seen as many people wear it this summer or will be wearing it this summer. It's not really sold as much. But I have been seeing a lot of the mini dresses, mini skirt style items that is so popular. So keep an eye out for that stuff. It's very in right now for some reason. So I feel like we kind of just reversed. We Last year, it was all about the very long dresses, the very bohemian, very elegant, very flowy. But now it's all about the tight, very short, very fitted dresses. So if you're into that, now is your time to shine. If you catch my drift. Okay. I feel like I went over everything. Another thing and probably the last thing i'm going to be talking about is corsets so the corset blouses or the corset dresses that house of cb sells that is very popular right now i personally enjoy wearing corset shirts and dresses they look very fitted they look very elegant they look very timeless but i feel like it might die soon and another trend would resurrect because i feel like it's so popular right now and brands usually try to make it popular for a little bit and then die out because they want to push their new styles so yeah if corsets or corset styles are your thing go for it but if it's not it's not now i want to share a little bit because then it wouldn't be personal if i'm not talking about myself i personally do not have a specific style i like to go with very vintage clothing styles not vintage clothing but just the style of that clothing because i feel like that is timeless especially when you're taking pictures that will last forever so whether it be your proposal engagement wedding whatever just make sure it's timeless because you at one point will regret that decision if it was in back then but not in anymore but of course if you want to embrace the trends if you want to keep up with the trends you can do you you can do whatever you'd like life is all about choices and freedom and that is why we live in the united states <laughs> 
So have fun guys with your style, do your thing, accessories are your best friend and you can always match whatever dress or shirt or pants or whatever with bags and shoes and different things that make it look nicer or make it look different or you can dress it down or up and make it your style. So make sure you don't wear an item once and done, make sure you always recycle your items, wear them again, no problem, who cares? Wear your items again, it's good for the environment, it's good for you and you can always sell it after you're done. Please guys, make your way over to the subscribe button and click that button. I am trying to reach a thousand subscribers before summer ends, so you would actually be helping me a lot. And if you guys like my content, if you like what I'm doing, please let me know by commenting or liking or even watching my previous videos. It helps me a lot. And make your way over to my Instagram and be my friend. Let's be friends. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Tuesday.